Hello Map Geeks. Um, here we are in the University of Wisconsin Stouts ArcGIS Online and I want to show you briefly how to access story maps from within ArcGIS Online and also how to put maps that you have made either in ArcGIS Online or in ArcGIS Pro into a story map. There are a variety of ways that you can access a story map. Um, if you haven't made one yet, one option is to click on this little sort of nine dot symbol. Click here and click story maps and that will take you to the story map uh, to your story map page. Look by the, the type and one of the options is story map. So um, if I click on this one that says story map, it will take me to the detail page here, um, which doesn't have very much information because I haven't actually started um, doing much with this story map. But um, I can then click configure, which will take me to my story map. All right. So here's my draft story map page and you can then add things to it. This is pretty much just blank the way that you, if you were starting a new one. So you can title your story um, and add an image if you want. But what I really want to show you right now is how to add a map. Okay, so you have a few options. If you click over here on the left where this little green plus mark is, you have some options for things to add. Um, bulleted lists, subheadings, headings, paragraphs of text, images, te uh, video. You can embed things from other websites. Way down here at the bottom it says map. You can add a map if you click on this it will take you to some maps that you have uh, made or you can create an express map. So let's just say that um, I wanted to add this stout bike map that I created. So I just click on this to add it. Um, this is a test map I've been making that shows parking places and bike paths uh, around stout. And so you can, if you don't like how it looks in your map, Right now, you can also click down here to further edit the map in ArcGIS, um, or you can click Place Map, and that will add the map to your story. There you go. Here's my little map over here on the right um, in this section that scrolls down. I can also place maps over here in the sort of main panel by clicking Add Media and Add Map. Again, it takes me back here. Let's say I was going to add this crime map. This crime map is one that I created in ArcGIS Pro. And then I uploaded into my ArcGIS Online. So any maps that you have stored in your ArcGIS Online should show up here. You can see I have quite a few that I've been working on. Um, so you can click here, add your crime map. This is just a test map. Oh, this one does not have any web layers. Oh, sad. All right, so I would have to click edit if my map is not showing up properly. Like this one is not showing the, all the layers that I wanted to show. So here I am. See, there's a layer that's not showing. Makes me sad. Um, so here is where I would um, add layers, edit layers, um, style my map. When I get it the way I want, then I can go back to my um, I can go back to my story map and add it add it back in. Okay. Um, so any map that you create, either in ArcGIS Online or in Arc Pro, you can then add to a story map. Um, the other thing, let me show you this. Okay, so since I don't have any crime data in here, um, you can quickly add content to a map, um, create a, a quick and dirty kind of uh, locational map by clicking here 
uh, under add and click map notes. Um, let's say I want I may be, I'm making a map showing things that I um, places I stopped when I was traveling. Um, so then I get these symbols here. You can draw lines, um, you can draw arrows, you can draw shapes, you can use a push pin or a stick pin to put in spots. So let's say I stopped in Eau Claire, I could put a point there, um, add some text and information about that point, um, and then have a series of these that then I save and add back into my story map. Um, you can also um, save your map here and then um, instead of starting a new um, story map the way we showed, you could also click share and um, create web app. And then here you have a whole bunch of options for things to put your map into as far as sort of a a frame for it, a web page for it. Um, so one option is build a story map and you've got some some options uh, for different types of story maps that you can um, embed your map into. Um, let's see, is there anything else I want to tell you? Um, so basically if you want to create a map in Pro, you just need to um, upload the map. Let's see if I have up oh, here's my crime map. I'm going to show you guys this how to do this again. So here's the correct crime map. Um, if I want to share this, I click share web map and then that opens up a new window for sharing this this web map. All right, here we are. Um, so I'm going to name this crime crime underscore map correct it. Um, in a few details about it. Um, crime is a tag, murder, um, Wisconsin. Um, you can choose the type. So if you want it to be editable, if you want it to be very fast to, to render, or if you want it to be exploratory, I'm going to click exploratory in this case. I am going to um, this is choosing which folder. These are all the folders that I have in ArcGIS Online. Boy, there's a lot of them. This one that has my username is, is the main folder, so I'm going to click that one. I'm going to click Share with People at Stout, and then before you click Share, you can click Analyze to make sure that there aren't any problems with uploading your map. Okay, so here, um, you've got two options in terms of problems. Things that are going to make it impossible to share your map, that's the red circle with the white X in it, and things that are maybe a problem depending on what you're trying to do. In this case, this um, yellow caution sign here, um, layer feature does not have feature template set, that's fine. Um, we're going to go ahead and share anyway. So click share, and then that map, when it's done sharing, is right now publishing, it will appear um, in my, I'm going to go back to the home page for ArcGIS Online, it's going to show up in my list of content. So here is my list of content. Um, and it's going to show up in this list as soon as it is published, and then I can use it in a story map if I want to. So uh, that's basically how you add maps to uh, 
to a story map is pretty straightforward, um, but it's not something necessarily we've done a ton of, so I wanted to give you a quick demo of that.